Good day, folks. Welcome back. You're watching CBT Weekly News. I am your host, Jason Stansel, and with me today we have a guest co-host and a new reporter for us. Um, I'm sorry, Jesse Martinez? Yeah. Okay, I want to make sure I had said it correctly. And um, it's great to have you on. Hi, it's great to be here. Yeah, first show, really excited, pretty stoked. Yeah, first show we bring you on just to do a couple news clips and you end up guest co-hosting today. Yeah, crazy uh, co-host accident had nothing to do with it, <laughs> trust me. No, I know, I know. Uh, Ashley's out again for this, she swears this is the last Monday she'll be out, folks, so she will be back. And we had a guest co-host who was going to come and fill in, but um, something happened and she was unable to make it. There was some confusion. But, you know, we always keep going. You know how technical difficulties are over here at CBT Weekly News. It's what we live for. So we'll go ahead and start going to the, uh, oh wait, before we go to the Valley Headlines, I want to point out, folks, that the here in tower, where in tower feature on our page, Felina from the, uh, the hair, design sh hair designer showcase actually got it correct last week. I forgot to mention it on air, and um, after she got it correct, we changed the photo, and you guys can go on and guess on the new photo that's there. Try to find it, try to figure out where it is, and if you get your guess correct, we'll air it on the air. No matter how many correct answers we'll get, we'll mention everybody who got it correct. Um, now, we'll go ahead and go on to the Valley Headlines, folks. You knew it was coming. Uh, let's we'll start with the, uh, the front page of the B. It's mark number one. No, there, there you go. However you want to do it. There we go. Thank you, Katrina. Well, uh, do you want to hit this up first? Oh, go for it. No, ladies first. Okay, so um, recently it's been reported that students um, who have come to the United States um, without immigration papers will be staying. President Obama has allowed them to stay. More than 700,000 students will be staying. Um, so it's great to hear that kids um, will actually be able to stay in this country regardless of whether or not they were born here, especially because they're students um, Definitely. already involved in school. So. Yeah, we don't want to turn any w away anybody who's actually trying to get an education here in the United States. Um, also, apparently the, the price for uh, using plastic is the big front package of the Fresno Bee. Um, apparently the uh, AB1998 would require grocers, grocery stores to ban the plastic and charge for paper. Now, I can understand charging for paper for people who throw it away, but folks, a lot of us recycle. Oh, and a comment from our uh, public out there, at least somebody in our government cares about the youth getting education. I agree completely. There are more than one, per there is more than one person. Oh, but unfortunately, there's so far and few in between. At least those who do care about it don't have the, uh, the voice loud enough. But, um, yeah, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and switch on to the next paper, the Modesto Bee. You know, maybe if the plastics, maybe if they were to give away, like, oh. a week. Like, come shop at our store for a week, you get this free, reusable bag. I might be, I might be really into that. Yeah, true, very true, because the reusable bags they have now, they're like, what, 99 cents to $1.99? Oh, that's a lot. And you carry that into the store again, you don't think they're might think you just, you know, Yeah, stole maybe we could start a locker system at our grocery store. Like, <laughs> I could keep all my bags in one place. That way I could just go back every time. That would be interesting. And reuse it. That would definitely be interesting. I'd have my name on it. <laughs> it would be great. Well, yeah, customize your bag so that yeah. nobody thinks that it's a... Uh, you know, it'd be, that'd be a fabulous yeah. idea. You know, I think, I think Trader Joe's is really missing out here. They could start a week of giveaways, the, tr the tr you know, the Trader Joe Pro model. Yeah. That might work. We might need to look into this. Yeah, right. they might need to. Okay, well, let, let's go ahead and switch on to Modesto B. We've got it queued up here. But um, apparently 2,300 government jobs lost in the valley. Oi, that's not good, folks. Uh, remaining public workers still face layoffs, pay cuts, and furloughs. Not looking forward to that. Yeah. Um, Hopefully, though, in the future, we can get someone like Meg Whitman promising lots of jobs to everyone. Um, she seems to have a great um, track record behind her, though. What, 1998, uh, there was 30 jobs, I believe, at eBay. They were a $4 million company. 2008, they have 15,000 jobs, $8 billion. Um, so, I mean, her race for governor does seem quite, like, interesting, especially with all these job losses and the track record there. So. And definitely. Let's just hope that she lives up to her campaign promise. Yeah. Uh, so. 
I mean, we've seen candidates who say they're going to live up to their promise as governor of the United S of uh, California and <laughs> fail out. I guess the promises got terminated. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, um, in the the central package of the Modesto Bee, we've got hometown glee. Apparently, uh, high uh, Davis High School grad Robert Ulrich is up for an Emmy Award. Well, congrats, Robert. Uh, we wish you the best. I hope you're not competing against the uh, Clovis Glee individual who, uh, or I believe it's Glee, or is it one of the other shows out there right now? Wow. The Clovis guy up You know, for there was a Clovis guy on The Bachelor. He was... Well, I doubt he's up for the uh, Emmy okay, Award, though. Okay. <laughs> but there's a Clovis guy up for the Emmy Award as well, and hopefully soon I'll know the name. But um, we're hoping that he gets the, the award, too, so maybe a tie, if there's a chance of a tie in the... Have you, seen, have, have you seen the Glee? Is it, have you seen the TV show? Are you into it? No, I can't get into musicals when it's oh. a television show type. What about all the single, all the single ladies, the football? Nothing. No. no. I, high School Musical, that kind of stuff. No, but I got into Rent and the classic stuff. Okay. So that that's at least there is some culture in me, folks. Um, but uh, also, apparently, more people are choosing to take Social Security early. I don't blame them. I mean, seriously, it may be a smaller check, but. If you're not going to have a job, at least you're getting some sort of cash in. Now, granted, none of us here at, on this show are old enough to even consider Social Security. Oh, actually, <laughs> I began getting Social Security about five years ago. Yeah. I have an old dad, though, so. Okay, well, so. Work, work the system a little backwards. Okay, so it's you're, his Social Security, though, right? Yeah, not yours? but I'm, yeah. Okay. So, well, at least that makes sense, then. But, um. Okay, we'll go on to one more paper, uh, the Merced Sun Star. So we've got only a few minutes left, folks, so we have to go to commercial break. Uh, but apparently a fire guts a popular restaurant. Uh, very sad to hear that. We hate to hear when things burn, especially places that folks like to go to eat. Um, apparently there's an estimated $400,000 in damage to the downtown eatery. Well, hopefully they had a lot of insurance, folks, because hey, $400,000 worth of damage could lead up to at least $4,000, $400,000 in insurance. Although most likely in California that means about $400 in insurance. We'll find out. Um, also, a new director of a nonprofit in, uh, in Merced is uh, driven to improve people's lives. She's uh, trying to do what she can to help out, and that's great. Uh, Candice Ad Adam Medfield, or Medfine, Medifine? Sorry, it's small print, folks. Uh, it's a little difficult to read perfectly, but we'll try to get through it. And um, I guess we'll take our first commercial break, and then when we come back to you, we'll have some weather, some clips, and a little montage for you. Stay tuned.